how to use the radio button. Um, so, but first thing I'm going to just kind of a little bit of show you the, the advantage of it by going down here to uh, vignetting and just showing the, you know, so, so here's the vignetting setting. And the problem with the vignetting setting is it just does it around that with the idea that's in the center. Um, with this, you can kind of focus it in and focus it out. Um, but that's as strong as it gets. So, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to put that back to zero, and we're going to come up here to the uh, radio button right up here. So the advantage of radio button is you can pretty well select the area that you want to work with, and so I'm going to I'm going to move it like about like this. I'm going to bring it down a little bit and make it so that also so it doesn't do quite much of this. So um, when you open initially it sets so it lightens and darks the center part. Uh, and if you click invert here actually this is set to invert. What it'll do is it'll adjust the outside of this and leave this the same. So for example I'm going to turn the exposure. Well it yeah no I was right. So we're going to click that off. And I'm gonna I'm gonna darken the other part, and I'm just gonna move this around uh, here a little bit, and then so it doesn't quite get so much here. Um, so you can see, I mean, you can really turn you can really turn it down uh, with this button. And then you can also play with, uh, as you're working with this, uh, you can also um, play with the exposure of the of the regular. You know, so maybe as you darken this, you want to, um, to increase the exposure of the of the barn, um, and then here so the other advantage of this is that it gives you all of these these features you can increase well now we're working that it's going to increase the saturation of the outside so um but you what you do is come down here and uh i'm going to assume that you've done all of this already but um we can we can increase the clarity of that uh, and we'll go back up here and we'll turn the, that down. So um, so the advantage of this is, is that in this picture is, is that previously the, um, the alder here was pretty bright and by using this and emphasizing this it, it will keep the eye from going up here to the altar and, and looking at that light gray and figuring out what it is and it's it's bringing your eye to this. So the other thing I didn't do is I wanted to show you the feathering. So you can also, you know, you, you can you can feather it and decide how how much you want to expand it and what what kind of feathering you want. So the other thing about this okay so this is your your picture the other advantage is is that um here is two two pictures that i did this is what the original looked like and this is what what i did with it so um i'm going to go back and just and just um so here's the the picture that i start out with you know, I'm, I'm I'm just playing, but what I did is I turned the exposure. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. So what I did is I just turned the exposure of this picture down quite a bit, and then what I did is I came a radio button, and I decided I'm just gonna create the effect of light and dark shadows from the sun. So I picked I picked this. 
and I'm going to move it around like this. It kind of so I've got so I've got it like the the sun is kind of here and I can go through add my contrast a little bit um, add some clarity here and then um, add some saturation and I you know if need be I can go down here and make this a little more darker a little wax so okay um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another one over here. One. Yeah, like that, but I don't want it to be as strong as the other one. Maybe um, a little bit more, maybe a little bit there, and maybe I'll do one more and I'll add it like right here. And yeah, so, so anyway, so um, it gives you a chance to, to play with different things and kind of change the mood of a picture, you know, kind of from that, from a little bit overexposed, um, even doing that, it turns it down, do kind of a little bit more of a moody picture, you know, kind of emphasizing the rock and everything, and then <clears throat> I know the picture is off a little bit. Okay, uh, so here is uh, Rod's picture, and I'm going to briefly show how to use the radial button. Um, so, but first thing I'm going to just kind of a little bit of show you the, the advantage of it by going down here to uh, vignetting and just showing the, you know, so so here's the vignetting setting. And the problem with the vignetting setting is it just does it around that with the idea that's in the center. Um, with this, you can kind of focus it in and focus it out. Um, but that's as strong as it gets. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that back to zero, and we're gonna come up here to the uh, radio button right up here. So the advantage of radio button is you can pretty well select the area that you want. To work with and so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it like about like this I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and make it so that also so it doesn't do quite much of this so um, when you open initially it sets so it lightens and darks the center part uh, and if you click invert here actually this is set to invert what it'll do is it'll adjust the outside of this and leave this the same. So, for example, I'm going to turn the exposure. Well, it, yeah, you know, no, I was right. So, we're going to click that off, and I'm going to, I'm going to darken the other part, and I'm just going to move this around uh, here a little bit, and then so it doesn't quite get so much here um, so you can see I mean you can really turn you can really turn it down uh, with this button and then you can also play with uh, as you're working with this uh, you can also um, play with the exposure of the of the regular you know so maybe as you darken this 
you want to um, tr increase the exposure of the of the barn um, and then here so the other advantage of this is that it gives you all of these these features you can increase well now we're working at it's going to increase the saturation of the outside so um, but you what you do is come down here and uh, I'm going to assume that you've done all of this already but um, we can we can increase the clarity of that uh, and we'll go back up here and we'll turn the, that down so um, so the advantage of this is is that in this picture is is that previously the um, the alder here was pretty bright and by using this and emphasizing this it, it will keep the eye from going up here to the alder and, and looking at that light gray and figuring out what it is and it's it's bringing your eye to this. So the other thing I didn't do is I wanted to show you the feathering. So you can also, you know, you, you can you can feather it and decide how how much you want to expand it and what what kind of feathering you want. So the other thing about this, okay, so this is your your picture. The other advantage is is that um, here is two two pictures that I did. This is what the original looked like and this is what what I did with it. So um, I'm going to go back and just and just um, so here's the the picture that I start out with. You know I'm, I'm, I'm just playing but what I did is I turned the exposure oh no I gotta get out of here. So what I did is I just turned the exposure of this picture down quite a bit. And then what I did is I came a radio button and I decided I'm just gonna create the effect of light and dark shadows from the sun. So I picked I picked this and I'm going to move it around like this. And kind of So I've got so I've got it like the the sun is kind of here, and I can go through add my contrast a little bit, um, add some clarity here, and then um, add some saturation, and I you know if need be. I can go down here and make this a little more darker. A little wax. So okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another one over here. One. like that but I don't want it to be as strong as the other one and maybe um, a little bit more maybe a little bit there and maybe I'll do one more and I'll add it like right here And yeah, so so anyway, so um, it gives you a chance to to play with different things and kind of change the mood of a picture, you know, kind of from that from a little bit overexposed, um, even 
doing that, it turns it down to kind of a little bit more of a moody picture, you know, kind of emphasizing the rock and everything. And then, 